This is a Manta Sports Media presentation of 16th Region Middle School Volleyball Action. Good evening and welcome back to West Carter Middle School here for the A-Team game between the Lady Comets of West Carter Middle School versus the Valkyries of Round County Middle School. And so if you were joined us uh, just a little bit ago, you saw Round County pick up a 2-0 victory over the Lady Comets B team. But this is the varsity type squad if you were uh, kind of considering it at the high school level. But uh, they at the middle school, they call it the A team. And that's who we're getting ready uh, for here tonight. As uh, should be a pretty decent game, of course, earlier on in the season. Uh, the West Carter Lady Comets uh, went over to Round County early on in the season and defeated the Valkyries. Uh, but they are looking for another victory uh, here today. As uh, West Carter's been on a little bit of a roller coaster uh, back and forth uh, several times, uh, picking up some wins, a few losses here. Uh, had a uh, huge uh, night the other night uh, down in Lawrence County. Uh, picked up some big wins uh, and a long night uh, for the Lady Comets. Uh, but so far been pretty short here uh, with the uh, B game, but they're hoping to uh, turn things around here for the A game. And so we got about three minutes, 45 seconds left uh, before uh, we uh, get into our first serve. Round County did win the first serve, and so they will be serving first uh, here in this match. But we'll take a brief commercial break, and we'll be back here momentarily here on the Mantis Sports Media Network. Broken, Broken screen? Battery not lasting as long as it used to? Broken charging port? Don't just live with it or get an expensive upgrade. Make it like new at Johnny's Gadget Repair. Whether it's an iPhone iPad, Samsung, or any other major brand, we are here for all of your repair needs. Visit us at our new home at 115 Mill Street in Olive Hill, Kentucky, or call us at 606-316-6223, or check out our Facebook page, or visit us online. When you go to the polls in the next election, vote for Robert Sleepy Porter, Republican candidate for magistrate of District 5 in Carter County. Robert is a lifelong resident of Carter County and will work hard to help and serve the citizens of Carter County and to provide better and safer roads for our families to travel on. Robert would like to hear from you on his Facebook page to see how he can earn your support. Vote for Robert Sleepy Porter for Magistrate District 5. Paid for by candidate. Since 1979, James Hardware has proudly served the community of Olive Hill to supply all of your home improvement needs. From paint to tools to hardware to lumber and plumbing supplies, James Hardware has you covered. Be sure to check out their wide selection of case knives, and they are also your authorized steel dealer. James Do It Best Hardware, 137 Scott Street, Olive Hill, Kentucky, phone number 606-286-2692 or online at james.doitbest.com. For the best in tanning technology, head to Beach Buns Tanning in Moorhead and Mount Sterling, Kentucky. We have the tanning options that you want and the lotions that you need to keep that summer glow all year long. And stay tuned to the Drive-In's Facebook page for a huge announcement about the return of your favorite burgers, sliders, fries, and drinks. Beach Buns Tanning and the Drive-In are proud supporters of local high school sports. As time goes by, don't forget to capture the moments that will create memories that will last a lifetime with Eastern Wing Photography. No matter the occasion, we have you covered. If you need family portraits, engagement photos, prom pictures, senior photos, sports photos, baby pictures, and wedding photos, we are ready to work for you. You can find us online on Facebook or contact us at 606-286-0991 or at Eastern Wing Photography at yahoo.com to schedule a photo session. Session. In the upcoming election, vote Eric Ross for Carter County Sheriff. Eric is an experienced police officer and a dedicated family man. With a 10-point plan, he will work to unite Carter County, increase community involvement, and improve the function and availability of the Sheriff's Department. With your support, we can make Carter County stronger together and a better place to live. Vote for Eric Ross for Carter County Sheriff. Paid for by candidate. And back here at West Carter Middle School, we are just moments away here from the opening serve. Margaret LaFontaine up on the ladder here tonight uh, for the officiating crew on the third team here today. 
As a former official, I've worked with Margaret uh, several times. Uh, good to see her uh, still continuing on the tradition out here as well. Of course, we always say that there's three teams out on the court, and we want to be the best one as the officials. And, of course, uh, typically being the best means that uh, nobody knows that you were truly there at the end of the day. So as we mentioned, Round County won uh, the opening coin toss and has elected to serve first. And so they will be underway. So uh, once again, do not have a roster here for Round County, but taking a look at their lineup, uh, they have uh, number one, number two, uh, number 15, number 33, number 35, and number 12 here for the Valkyries, and number 26, the Libero, coming in here for Round County. And then taking a look here for Wes Carter, you got uh, number 23, Chloe Lane, uh, followed by number 24, uh, uh, Katarine uh, Jenkins, and then number 16, Casey Porter. Number 31, Lacey Richards. Coming off is uh, number 22, uh, being replaced up by the Libero, uh, Danica Barker. The Libero, number 40, Alea Patton. And number 8, Mallory Hicks. Of course, speaking of uh, Jenkins, I uh, want to give a big congratulations out to J Garrett Jenkins. Picked up uh, fifth place in the FBLA uh, state competition in business calculation. So I want to give him a big shout out as his advisor and uh, definitely proud of him as well as everybody that participated down at FBLA. Wes Carter hits that one into the back row. That's going to be dug out uh, by their setter. Hit back over Wes Carter. Going to try to have an opportunity to use this. That's going to be bumped over. Brown County. Sets this one up to the back. Uh, Libero hits that one in, but that's going to be a, an attacking error on the Libero. And so Wes Carter will pick up to the first uh, point here at one to nothing. And looks like number 12 is going to be uh, coming in here for Wes Carter and Summer Skaggs. As looks like number 16, Casey Porter, back to serve here for the Lady Comets. And she gets a nice serve. Brown County returns that one over. Wes Carter. Gets that set up, attack over. Dug out by Round County's back middle player. And good attack there by Round County. A nice uh, dive there by Patent. But uh, that one's going to hit the uh, close standard on the inside, and we're tied up here at one apiece. Round County's number 31 is going to be checking in here for two, while number 12 is going to be serving here for the Valkyries. And it's going to be sent over by Wes Carter, dug out there by the back row. Tacked by Round County, dug up by Wes Carter. Puts it right over top of the net. Wes hits it back, Round County digs it up. They got their setter up now. Nice attack, Pat, and digs that one back out. Free ball here by Wes Carter by Porter. Tack here by Round County, puts it in the back row. That's going to be dug out by Hicks. Jenkins, free ball over. And so a good volley here uh, for a middle school rally. As Wes Carter's going to end that one with an attack and kill there. Lead by Skaggs. As Jenkins is going to be back to serve here for the Lady Comets. As they lead here 2-1. to one. And it's going to be right at the net. Uh, Hicks uh, challenging, uh, but uh, that doesn't clear from Round County. So Wes Carter gets back-to-back -back points and has the largest lead here of the night at 3-1. to one. Jenkins serves it over. Nice serve deep into the Round County secondary. Nice hit. Patton digs that up. Jenkins sets it up to Hicks. Hicks knocks it over. Dug up. Attack by Round County from the back row. And that's going to miss outside, so Wes Carter picks up three points in a row there to go up by three at four to one. Of course, other uh, participants uh, for the FBLA uh, down at state, we had uh, Lauren Nip, Abby Daniels, and Xavier Rose, as that's going to be an ace there by Jenkins, as they're dominating here as to start out this first set five to one. Of course, everybody that participated down at the FBLA competition was a winner in the regional competition, got third place or higher, so they had to earn their spot uh, down at state. As that one's going to be in there for Round County as they get the one just right on the line. 
So it's now five to two. With number 35 ready to serve here for the Valkyries. And that one's going to be into the net for a net uh, fault or a, a serving error as Barker's going to be coming in for the libero Patton up to the front row. And serving here for Wes Carter is number 23. As Round County, a little bit of trouble. They're going to have to free this one over. Wes Carter digs it up, sets it up to Hicks at the net. Uh, she pushes it over, but... Uh, we're going to have a net violation here against Round County's uh, number 15. So that's going to give the point there to Wes Carter as they are now on top here, 7-2. to two. So number 23, Chloe Lane serving here for the Lady Comets. Gets that one popped up Round County. Let Mobero hit it over on the third hit. And nice tip there by Round County as it just cleared the net. Hicks tries to put it just outside the reach, and that's going to be off the hand there of the setter for Round County. And so Wes Carter has a six-point lead here at 8-2. to two. So this is almost a tale of two different stories. If you watch the B team, uh, Round County had control and uh, kept the control for most of it. Uh, but Hicks gets a kill there for Wes Carter. And the A-team uh, Lady Comets controlling here this set. As Round County is going to take a timeout here, that'll be their first timeout. Your score is 9-2 to two here in the first set. We'll be back here momentarily here on the Manta Sports Media Network. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 110,000 participants here in Kentucky who take part in high school sports. And back here at West Carter, I do believe I mispronounced Carrie Ann Jenkins is her name. I do apologize for that. Just took another look down at the roster. That's what happens when you uh, give a quick glance and I uh, think that uh, you got it down, but that's Carrie Ann. So Chloe Lane still serving here for the Lady Comets. Round County gets that one popped up. And uh, that's uh, kind of a miscue off of the set. Leads to the attacking error. And West Carter now up here by eight at 10 to two. Lady Comets without two of their starters here today. Definitely not showing it. And nice attack there by Round County. But uh, that one's going to go just long. So Wes Carter continuing on the streak here as they now lead 11-2. to two, Lead by nine here in this first set and in this race to 21. And a match uh, that is best two out of three sets. Of course, you must win by two points. Have a two-point advantage when you hit 21. And joust at the net. And that's going to be double or going to be carried there or lifted, excuse me, prolonged contact by Hicks. And so that's going to stop the Wes Carter rally at 11-3. So number 33 back to serve here for the Valkyries. Of course, definitely with the time of year, of course, earlier on in the season when we were here, the sun was a big problem as Wes Carter tries to battle that one out, but uh, this hits that one out of bounds. Round County picks up the point. But uh, earlier on in the season, you probably noticed, uh, of course, the light there on the floor uh, right by the server's feet. Uh, depending on the time of year, that can be very detrimental for the team on this far end. But, uh, of course, with the time of year now, it's getting uh, considerably better. Wes Carter frees that one over. Round County going to try to take advantage. The setter pushes that one over, and that's going to be the third hit there. Bounces around a little bit, and that's going to be prolonged contact called uh, by Wes Carter. So 11-5, to five, Brown County starting to come back here in this uh, set number one. Nice serve by Round County. That one goes into the net by Wes Carter, and so they have cut that lead from nine points uh, down to five. So it's 11-6. 
little miss hit there by Wes Carter. Patton tries to get it, but uh, bounces it off the wall. And so now it is 11-7, or I guess you can say 7-11, uh, if you call the server serving team first. Slurpy time here at West Carter Middle. West Carter gets that one up to the front net, trying to dig that one out. Uh, was Barker, but uh, ends up crossing over the center line there. And now it's 11 to 8. Brown County coming back up. Six straight points here by the Valkyries. West Carter going to try to get this one set up. Jenkins gets that to Hicks. Hicks hits it into the back corner there. Nice kill by Mallory Hicks. Ending off the Round County run. So for Round County, it's going to be number 24 coming in for 33. While for West Carter, it's going to be number 12 serving Summer Skaggs. Nice hit there and kill by West Carter. But, uh, or excuse me, that went out of bounds. That's what happens when you know officiating and you see the second official <laughs> stay on the one side and it's like, oh, okay. Uh, but uh, that was out of bounds, so Round County picks up the point as number 31, Lacey Richards, uh, comes into the game here for the Lady Comets. Three-point lead here by Wes Carter. About midway through this first set as that one's hit up into the ceiling. Round County crosses into double digits. And Coach Barker's going to call a timeout here uh, as Wes Carter now has a two-point advantage here in set number one. It is 12 to 10. We'll be back here momentarily here on the Mantis Sports Media Network. Broken, Broken screen, battery not lasting as long as it used to, broken charging port, don't just live with it or get an expensive upgrade. Make it like new at Johnny's Gadget Repair. Whether it's an iPhone, iPad, Samsung, or any other major brand, we are here for all of your repair needs. Visit us at our new home at 115 Mill Street in Olive Hill, Kentucky, or call us at 606-316-6223, or check out our Facebook page, or visit us online. So back here at West Carter, where West Carter did have a 11-2 lead moments ago, but Round County starting to make a run here as West Carter still leads by two here in the first set in this race to 21. Number 31 serving here for Round County. As West Carter pops that over on the first hit, but goes out of bounds. So Round County one point away from tying this up. Of course, volleyball is a game of rallies. And so it's not very uncommon for one team to get ahead several points and then the other team rally back up. The momentum uh, has to switch. And that one popped up by Wes Carter. Jenkins trying to get that one over. And that one's going to be off the top of the tape, and that's going to be four hits there for Wes Carter. So Round County has tied this back up at 12 apiece. As that's going to be an ace there by number 31 and gives Round County the lead back here at 13 to 12. as that's going to be a service error there by the Valkyries, tying things back up here at 13 apiece. As number two is coming in here for Round County, going to be replacing out number 31, and back to serve here for Wes Carter is going to be number eight, Mallory Hicks. As we are tied up in 13 apiece. Popped up and a little miss hit there by Round County. Wes Carter going to reap the... Results there as they now have the one point lead once again here at 14 13. Round County gets that one popped up. It's going to be a free ball situation here for Wes Carter. Jenkins sets it up. Barker hits that one free over. Round County going to try to set this one up and attack, but that's going to be an attacking error there on number 12 of Round County. And so Wes Carter gets back to back points and regains. A little bit more breathing room here at 15-13. Still not a comfortable range in any way, shape, or form as Round County gets But really uh, coming in for 26 and then 26 coming in, or, or 15, uh, 
going out for 26. As Barker sets this, Jenkins hits it in the back row, and that's going to be right in there, right on the line for a point, West Carter point. So 16-14 is your score as West Carter is going to be bringing Lane back in here for Patton, the libero. As it's going to be number 22, Danica Barker, back to serve here for the Lady Comets. As that's going to be a service error there for West Carter, giving Round County the point. 16-15 the score as number 33 checking back in here for 24. And number one back to serve here for Round County. That serve just clears the top of the net barely. Just gets right in front of that back row, and we've got a tied ball game here at 16 apiece. And that one's going to be off the hands of the front row, so Round County regains the lead here at 17-16. Getting closer here in the latter part of set number one. And number one is serving here for Round County. Or if you're not from around here, Rowan County. And a little miss uh, cue there on the set for Round County gives West Carter the point, 17 apiece. And so number 12, Skaggs, is going to be coming in here for number 31, Lacey Richards. So Summer Skaggs in for West Carter as Casey Porter back to serve here for the Lady Comets. Set up by Round County off the ceiling. They were able to play it. Now West Carter trying to get something set up here. Skaggs hits that over one-handed. As Round County trying to get that one over, but uh, that one's going to fall just short. So West Carter gets the key point there as they are three points away here from a first set victory. Porter back to serve again. And that one's going to fall just a bit short, so ties things up here at 18 apiece. So it's this race to 21, have to win by two, as 31 is coming in for Round County's number two, and number 12 back serving here for the Valkyries. As that's a little miss hit, but uh, Pat can go back there. Hicks trying to. Get that one over, but uh, that's going to be four hits there by the Lady Comets. So Round County now two points away here from a victory as they lead West Carter 19-18. to 18. Tight match here in set number one. As there's a service error, West Carter can breathe a sigh of relief as now if they get two straight points here uh, off the hands of Carrie Ann Jenkins, uh, then they'll pick up the set victory. Otherwise, we're going to be heading into some probably some bonus volleyball. As nice serve by her gets it in there for an ace. So Wes Carter with set point number one here in set one. Round County's going to have to get a stop here, or the set will go to Wes Carter. As that's going to be a service error. So we're going to be heading into some bonus volleyball here as we are tied up at 20 apiece. Number 15 coming back in here for the libero. Number 26 as number 35 back to serve here for Round County. Wes Carter hits that one back over, and that's going to fall right in between the front and back rows. So Wes Carter is now at set point number two. As Barker coming back in for the libero, Lane going to be back to serving for Wes Carter. Libero in for Round County in for 35. The lane serve, dug up by Round County. Hits that one over off of the hands there, Porter. Skaggs tries to get the free ball, but hits the ceiling. And so we're knotted up back here again at 21. And we're going to get a sub here as number 43 is going to be checking in for 33. Going to be back to serve here for the Valkyries. Pops that one up. Jenkins going to set it up to Hicks a little bit uh, further back, but uh, clears the net. And that clears the net for Round County. Jenkins hits it back to Porter. Porter gets it over top. 
Diving stop there for Round County. They're going to have to get it over on this one. And they do. Skaggs gets it to Jenkins. Jenkins to Hicks. Hicks off the hands of the Round County player. And they get the lead here. So this is very much like tennis. If you are a tennis fan, uh, you'll probably know uh, when there is deuce, you have to get an advantage and then the win. You know, it's a two-point uh, lead, you know, in tennis. Same thing in volleyball here as Skaggs back to serve here for Wes Carter. And that one's going to be under the net there on the service there. 21 apiece as Richard's going to be coming back in here for Skaggs. And number 31 back to serve here for Round County. As nice serve by Round County is going to be off the hands of the front row. So Round County with their first uh, set point. But Wes Carter is going to call a timeout here. A good, a good time to take that. And we'll be back here in 30 seconds here on the Manta Sports Media Network. When you go to the polls in the next election, vote for Robert Sleepy Porter, Republican candidate for magistrate of District 5 in Carter County. Robert is a lifelong resident of Carter County and will work hard to help and serve the citizens of Carter County and to provide better and safer roads for our families to travel on. Robert would like to hear from you on his Facebook page to see how he can earn your support. Vote for Robert Sleepy Porter for Magistrate District 5. Paid for by candidate. So back here at West Carter and we are in bonus volleyball. Right now, the Valkyries of Round County has a one-point lead here over West Carter at 23-22 in this race to get ahead by two. I believe both teams have taken one timeout so far. Or, excuse me, West Carter's taken two timeouts, so they are out of timeouts. Round County still has one if need be. Of course, time not a factor. Usually it's a momentum stop is what you need as Round County... Gets that one over. Patton hits that up. Jenkins to Patton. Patton hits that one over. Brown County going to try to get this one set up to the middle. Barker digs that one out to Porter. Now to Patton. Hits that one over. Brown County going to try the attack again. And that time breaks three. And so Brown County is going to pick up the set one victory here as they defeat uh, Wes Carter. 24-22 in the first set as it had to go into some extra volleyball to get things done here. But uh, that is going to finish off for set one. Uh, we'll be coming back here for set two just momentarily after a word here from our sponsors here on the Mantis Sports Media Network. Since 1979, James Hardware has proudly served the community of Olive Hill to supply all of your home improvement needs. From paint to tools to hardware to lumber and plumbing supplies, James Hardware has you covered. Be sure to check out their wide selection of case knives, and they are also your authorized steel dealer. James Do It Best Hardware, 137 Scott Street, Olive Hill, Kentucky. Phone number 606-286-2692 or online at james.doitbest.com. For the best in tanning technology, head to Beach Buns Tanning in Moorhead and Mount Sterling, Kentucky. We have the tanning options that you want and the lotions that you need to keep that summer glow all year long. And stay tuned to the Drive-In's Facebook page for a huge announcement about the return of your favorite burgers, sliders, fries, and drinks. Beach Buns Tanning and the Drive-In are proud supporters of local high school sports. As time goes by, don't forget to capture the moments that will create memories that will last a lifetime with Eastern Link Photography. No matter the occasion, we have you covered. If you need family portraits, engagement photos, prom pictures, senior photos, sports photos, baby pictures, and wedding photos, we are ready to work for you. You can find us online on Facebook or contact us at 606-286-0991 or at Eastern Link Photography at yahoo.com to schedule a photo session session. Rick is an experienced police officer and a dedicated family man. With a 10-point plan, he will work to unite Carter County, increase community involvement, and improve the function and availability of the Sheriff's Department. With your support, we can make Carter County stronger together and a better place to live. Vote for Eric Ross for Carter County Sheriff. Paid for by candidate. 
And back here at West Carter where we're heading into set number two. Round County ended up coming from behind and picking up a 24-22 extra volleyball win over the Lady Comets in set number one. West Carter was up by 11-2, and Round County was able to battle back from that to end up uh, coming up and picking up the set. So West Carter will be serving first here. As Coach Parker been working out on her team, trying to get them motivated because uh, they have the stuff out there. It's just uh, down the stretch. Uh, they kind of fell just a little bit thin, but... Uh, you know, not too far. You know, you know, it was a good effort by both teams there. So for Wes Carter, it looks like uh, starting out, uh, we're going to have number 22, Danica Barker, and then uh, followed by Casey Porter here at number 16, and followed by Carrie Ann Jenkins, number 24, followed by number 23, Chloe Lane. Mallory Hicks is out there, number 8. Leah Patton uh, coming in here for pa uh, Barker. And number 31, I believe Lacey Richards out there as well. As Leah Patton, the libero, going to be serving here for Wes Carter. Trying to come back uh, from that tight loss against the Valkyries in set one. As that one's going to head out of bounds, so Wes Carter strikes first here. Has a one nothing lead. Skaggs is going to be checking in here for number 31, Lacey Richards. As that's going to be dug out by the back middle there. Round County punched over. Sets it up. Hits it over to Skaggs. Or not Skaggs, but Porter. In the back row, Jenkins is going to set it up here toward the middle. Nice dig out there by the libero. Good dive there by Jenkins as Round County tries to put it away. Jenkins one arms it again. And Lane, uh, Chloe Lane comes up and tries to get it in there but uh, puts it in off the net. And so Wes Carter or drops the point there and it'll be 1-1. Tied ball game here is number 33 for Round County. Coming in for number 24. As it looks like number three, uh, one back to serve here for Round County. Jenkins gets that back toward the middle. Hicks tried to play it up there, but just a bit low. So Round County picks up the point here, and it's two to one. As dug out by Hicks. Skag gets it over to Jenkins. She free balls it over. Little miss hit on the set, and that's going to be a down ball could have been four hits if uh, they would have made contact with it. But 2-2 two is the scorer as Casey Porter, number 16, back to serve here for the Lady Comets as that one's going to be just shy of the net. The Round County gets the lead here at 3-2. to two. So 31-4-2 coming in for Round County as number 12 back to serve here for the Valkyries. Jenkins gets that set up to Lane. Gets it into the back row, dug out. Round County tried to get in on the sweeping hit, uh, but ended up hitting it under the net. So tied up here at three apiece. As it's going to be Carrie Ann Jenkins back to serve here for Wes Carter. Dug out by the libero. Cross courts it, and that one's going to be hit into the net for an attacking error by Round County. West Carter regains the lead here at 4 to 3. Jenkins has already picked up a couple aces uh, here on the night. Just about picked up another one, but a good dig out there by Round County. As Hicks going to free ball this one over. Sets it up to the middle attacker. Nice dig out there by Porter. Uh, but a little bit of miscommunication there as Skaggs hits it over and nobody there to cover it. So we're going to be tied up here at four piece as number 15 coming in for the libero, number 26. And back to serve here for Round County is going to be number 35.
And gets a little help from the net, but Wes Carter able to return it over. Push there by the, little bear, or by the setter as Hicks punches that over. Brown County with the opportunity here, takes it, cross courts it, and that's going to be in there for a kill. Brown County picks up the point here at 5-4. to four. As the ball heading out to the lobby. Not a very uncommon occurrence uh, for volleyball. As there's the serve, this quarter gets it over. Brown County pushes it over. Lane gets it. Hicks tips it over. As deep shot there by Round County picks up the kill. As they now lead here, six to four. Number 35 serving here for Round County. Patton coming in out of nowhere. Nice push up there by Hicks. And gets a block right after that. I think the Round County coach was wanting a prolonged contact as she sends over her captain. Looking for a double or a prolonged contact. Of course, usually not too much you can argue about. Prolonged contact or doubles are much like balls and strikes in baseball. You might could say something, but as long as you just make it brief and to the point. As that's going to be punched over by the libero and puts it right in front of the back middle. Brown County extends out their lead here, 7-5. to five. Number 33 back to serve here for the Valkyries. As Patton gets that one picked up, Jenkins gets it to Hicks, who takes her attack run, pops it up, pushed over by Round County. And nice effort by the Lady Collins to keep on playing it out of the net, uh, but ran out of hits. Eight to five now, here your score. As that's going to sell out of bounds here for Round County. Wes Carter picks up the point, 8 to 6. As number 24 for number 23 coming in for Round County. Number 31, Richards coming in here for Skaggs. So Lacey Richards will be back to serve here for the Lady Comets. It's that one over, diving stop there by the libero. High pushed over. Hicks going to take advantage of that. Hits it in the back row. Gets it set up cross court, uh, but that one's going to be in the net for an attacking error there for Round County. Wes Carter closes the lead down here to one at eight to seven. Richards serving for Wes Carter. Popped up. Round County's going to have to get this one over on the free ball, but hits that out of bounds. So Wes Carter on a little run here, picking up eight apiece. As puts it right at the net, but they're going to say point Round County as she was over the net. So on the, a second hit, you cannot break the plane of the net and hit the ball while it's completely over here on the other side of the net, and that's what the call was from the up official. Net like that, and that was what the call was. Hicks gets us to the back to Patton, and Patton attacking here gives... As I was doing the explaining, forgot to add on the point there, so it's uh, 10 to 9, Round County here on top. As that's going to be in there for an ace. 
as Wes Carter's calling 911 right now at 911. They need to find something to stop this rally. Popped up. Good effort there by Patton to try to get it on the errant hit. And Round County picks up the point and leads now here at 12 to 9. Number 31 still serving here for the Valkyries. As that's going to be off the hands of Richards there. Point Round County. So they now have a four-point lead here, 13 to 9 over Wes Carter. Nice pop-up by Patton. Hicks gets the second hit, gets it to Barker. And that's going to be out of bounds, point round counting. Wes Carter's going to take a timeout here, and so will we. We'll be back here momentarily here on the Manta Sports Media Network. Broken screen, battery not lasting as long as it used to, broken charging port, don't just live with it or get an expensive upgrade. Make it like new at Johnny's Gadget Repair. Whether it's an iPhone, iPad, Samsung, or any other major brand, we are here for all of your repair needs. Visit us at our new home at 115 Mill Street in Olive Hill, Kentucky, or call us at 606-316-6223, or check out our Facebook page, or visit us online. When you go to the polls in the next election, vote for Robert Sleepy Porter. Republican candidate for magistrate of District 5 in Carter County. Robert is a lifelong resident of Carter County and will work hard to help and serve the citizens of Carter County and to provide better and safer roads for our families to travel on. Robert would like to hear from you on his Facebook page to see how he can earn your support. Vote for Robert Sleepy Porter for magistrate District 5. Paid for by candidate. Back here at West Middle where West Carter is just taking their first time out. They'll have one remaining. Round County has not taken any time out so far here in set number two. As it's 14-9, to nine, Round County here on top. Has nice stop there. And Jenkins going to sit this one up to Hicks. Hicks on the attack, but uh, it's going to be an attacking error as that one goes into the net. And Round County continues on their streak here at 15-9. Six-point lead, six points to victory. As that's going to be in there for an ace. As some of those line shots definitely hard to hit. Even harder to return. That's a little bit of light flickering uh, on here at uh, West Carter Middle School, but uh, they continue play as that's going to be another ace there by Round County. As number 31 has been serving for a while back there for the Valkyries. And that's going to go off the hands of the back row of Wes Carter. Nine-point lead here by the Valkyries. As they're going to put Skaggs in now here for Richards. Trying to see if a change in lineup can help out here for Wes Carter. As that's going to be in there for an ace. A little communication amongst the team there as Patton was going for it, but uh, almost looked like somebody else should have picked that one up. And that's going to be dug up by Patton. Hicks gets the second hit to Barker. Hits that one over. Round County digs that one up. And the attack over. Going to go off the arms of Skaggs there. And so Round County here at match point. As we had to go into extra volleyball in the first set, 24-22 was the score. But here right now, Round County on top. 20-9. Hicks hits that one over. Attack for Round County. It's close to the net and on the passing error, that's going to finish things off here this evening. As Round County picks up two wins off of four sets and both shutout victories. Picks up 2-0 in the B game, gets 2-0 here in the A game. 
Set scores uh, 24-22 and then 22-9. And that's going to finish things off here for Wes Carter. So, as I said, join us again tomorrow night as hopefully we'll have Wes Carter softball taking on Fairview. And then we'll be joining back again next week as we're going to have West Carter versus East Carter in baseball action. And then we'll be having some West Car or excuse me, East Carter uh, softball games coming up next week as well. So for Jeff the Mantis Irwin and the Mantis Sports Media crew, we'd like to thank you for tuning in here today. Like I said, if you haven't had a chance, make sure you like our page, follow our page, subscribe to us if you're on YouTube, and make sure that you share everything out because we would be glad to uh, get this to everybody that we possibly can. So for Jeff the Mantis Irwin, I'd like to thank you for tuning in here today, and we will see you all again next time.